Any idea why they call this La Plata Beach? Because I don't see anything beach worthy. This was going to be a day in the week of an astrophysics intern, but since I have nothing, absolutely nothing going at all today, I'm not going to be making anything today, so stay tuned for the next part of this video. Okay, let me cut to the chase. I do have one thing going on today, and that's, uh, so basically my cohort has a picnic with the other cohort. So there are two REUs going on um, at this institution. One is my cohort, the other is the other cohort. So mine is called Grant Map, theirs is called Trend. So we're having a picnic with that. I'll explain all the rest of stuff later on. Okay, where was I? Right. So the trend, um, so people in trend are basically researching applied physics and uh, non-linear dynamics, basically. Whereas people in grad lab are basically researching stuff related to astronomy and astrophysics. Maybe there's like one or two physics projects. But yeah, my project specifically is uh, theoretical astrophysics. Well, theoretical. Uh, astrophysics um, and uh, hyphen um, atmospheric physics. I'm basically working on hot Jupiters. And I'll explain the rest of the project to you at some other point in time. visiting graduate student from University of Washington. I believe their talk is going to be on um, something regarding carbon dioxide emission in the atmosphere. And after that, I have lunch with the department and I believe afterwards I have a meeting with my advisor and afterwards um, from, two, from 3 to, uh, I don't know, past 3 p.m. I have to meet with my advisor's group, basically the EXO box group. So yeah, that's pretty much my day. So, last night, so let me show you a bunch of stuff I've been doing a reading on. So, um, last week my advisor decided me to read this. So far, I've been reading about the interior of stars, which is chapter 10. Oh, by the way, the name of this book is Modern Stellar Astrophysics by Bradley W. Cowell and Dale A. Osley. So apparently this is a very good um, introductory book for um, graduate uh, level astrophysics or any sort of intro. Well, from what my advisor told me, um, upper level undergrad or, you know, graduate level introduction. But yeah, I have to study um, chapter 10 which talks all about, pretty much, it all, you know, it jumps into kind of, um, how should I talk about this, the hydrostatic equilibrium and a lot of density and stuff. So it's a, it's a, it's pretty much, you know, what you'd expect in astronomy. So like, for example, you have, um, you can pretty much see the new, you know, second and third laws of Newton coming here. I'm very bad at explaining this. Um, okay. And of course the density equ equation becomes very, very relevant here. But yeah, I'll try to do a separate video where I try to like, go through what I'm reading here. And of course I have to go through a bunch of research papers through for my background reading. So I'm going to be reading like two chapters from this book. Currently I'm in chapter 10. And then after this I'm going to be reading um, chapter... 13, I believe, which is called, what is it called again? Give me a second. It's uh, called, yeah, 
post-main sequence stellar evolution because mainly I have to study how the gastroinflation works when a star goes past its main sequence, I guess? Because that's at the point where like hot Jupiters kind of get that inflation and the heat also increases, the temperature also increases in the atmosphere. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's one book. There are like actually three other books I have. One of them here. So for this one I just have to study like the interiors of planets and the atmospheres of planets, I believe. Planetary surfaces, I don't know if I don't know if this is gonna be relevant because it's more about the geology of the planet. Um right, but <sighs> sorry for that. The geology of the planet. And Six planetary interiors. Now, yeah, now that's more about like what I'm trying to research. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, my camera isn't really weird in that. Okay, so I haven't started this yet. I started, uh, the, of course, the book I was mentioning. And yeah, I'm, probably, I'm, I'm gonna try to finish my side readings, for, um, my side introductory readings within this week because then I also have to jump into like the more, more advanced texts which I'll show you um, whenever I go to my office and if I get the chance to, um, I don't know, vlog there today. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I also have to fiddle around with, with, a, uh, with some code as well. Um, I'm coding in Python of course and I'm using a specific software called Mesa, which I'll run you through in a bit. It basically has all the pressure equations. Yeah, which basically has a pressure equation of state, and it also has all the equations that I need from this book that I'm learning already in, this, in, uh, in, in its table. But still, I'm just going through it because it's just, um, it's just best to have that intuitive understanding. But yeah, right now I'm just gonna, you know, get my stuff ready, get my, get my Mac, my notebook, and uh, yeah, get all my stuff and uh, get out and go to my office. Well, not my office, go to um, the talk first, and of course the rest of my, tend to the rest of my errands for the day. Go to my office. This is my office space, and this is my uh, office space, and... Some of the others have their office upstairs, but yeah. Anyway, I just got done with my meeting with my advisor, and uh, we're gonna have a weekly uh, Axibuff meeting right now, so I suppose I'll uh, vlog later. But yeah, that's it for now. I'll go over the stuff we talked about just in, just in like uh, sometime later this evening. All right, uh, sorry for the late update, but uh, the Axibuffs uh, meeting went pretty well, actually. Um, so one person from uh, NASA came and he's, we're actually working with the same um, software package that I am, or well, coding package, Mesa. Apparently he was he's working on like sub Neptunes or like low mass gas giant planets, I believe. But yeah, overall a very, very productive day. Can't wait to start tomorrow though. Tomorrow I'm gonna be a bit more by myself. There is um however we do have to attend some of the trend meetings, some of the trend fell uh, trend uh, seminars really. It's not required though, it's optional, but, I, but you know, better fun than nothing. But anyway, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next. Okay, you guys wanna follow me on my adventure to Target? Let's go! Okay, we're almost there, I believe. Almost there, almost. We're finally here! Let's go get some, what am I think we're supposed to get? We've got what I needed now, time to home. Just got some ice cream from Insomnia Cookies. Time to head home. In whatever direction that is. News, finally started running some Python today and uh, generated some data from uh, stellar evolution simulations and some planetary evolution simulations as well, so... Yeah, won't show you a whole bunch of gibberish here, but there you go. That's a HR diagram, I believe, yeah. And this is the, basically the relation between temperature and density. Well, I don't even know what, I'm just yada yada yada.